what's up Chemical Guys family and welcome to your complete glass guide. That's right, today we're covering everything that you need to know about cleaning your glass, cleaning your glass, polishing, ceramic, and maintenance for your glass to make sure that you have the best clarity at all times. Let's get started. So we have already cleaned the glass with our streak-free glass cleaner. Then we proceeded to masking off the surrounding rubber trim on the windshield with some masking tape just to make sure that we don't get any compound or polish in there. And now we're ready to start cleaning the glass. Now we're gonna grab our OG clay bar and we're also gonna grab our clay luber. This is a synthetic lubricant that's gonna remove embedded contaminants sitting on the surface of your glass. You guys may have seen us use it on this channel before, but basically you wanna grab yourself a small piece, spray some of the clay luber lubricant directly onto the glass itself. And then I'm gonna put this windshield wiper up so that way they don't get in the way. And then you also wanna spray some of your clay bar as well to lubricate it, that way you can glide your clay bar left and right on the surface. And what this is doing right now is it's removing the embedded particles that are on the glass. Now, you guys have seen us do Project Acti here on this channel before. Remember guys, this is a 1988 Honda Acti. So as you can imagine, this thing has a ton of embedded contaminants. And one of the things that we didn't really focus on in that series was the glass. Now the glass, as you guys can see, it's big, it's flat. It's probably one of the largest surfaces that are on this Acti. So we want to make sure that we have the best clarity, not just for this Acti, but for you guys at home. That way, whenever you're driving in inclement weather conditions, you're not faced with having a very uh, smeary windshield and you, know, you don't have that full visibility because that can be completely dangerous. So this is one of the first steps that you want to do whenever it comes to you know, fully detailing your glass because I know oftentimes most people just are under the misconception that you, know, you clean your glass and you know, that's it. That's the end of the day. Well, in reality, there's a bunch of other things that you can cover on your glass such as cleaning it, polishing it, all that. So right now, we're just gonna keep on doing that. So now that I'm done cleaning it, I'm gonna set down my clay bar and my clay luber. I'm gonna grab myself one of my microfiber towels and I'm gonna remove the residue of the clay luber that's sitting on the glass itself. And then we're just gonna buff that away. That way there's no remaining residue. And we're all basically good to go. And then if you guys already didn't know with the clay bar, you can use it on a multitude of surfaces, not only just on your glass, but on your paint, your headlights, your wheels, and so much more. I say so much more, but in reality, it's just any smooth, glossy surface. So if you have paint, glass, chrome, all that good stuff, like you can use it on there to decontaminate it and restore the glass smooth feel of it. All right, so now that we're done wiping off the clay luber, now we can get into polishing. And if you guys are wondering who that stranger is in the background, that's Brian. He's the newest addition of our Chemical Guys team. Don't worry, we'll introduce him very soon to this channel. But for the next part, we're gonna start polishing. So right here, I have my Torque 15 DA polisher. This is a dual action polisher, and I have a green heavy polishing pad. Now we're gonna be using this combination of machine and pad to, so here's the thing with glass, is that glass, it's a very, very hard surface to cut. So right now what we're, not, what we're looking for is to restore the clarity and shine of the glass. So over time, especially on this 1988, the glass can pick up contaminants and things that can cause it to look streaky or has a film on it. And in order to really deep clean it and make sure that there's nothing on there, we wanna polish it. And it also is gonna remove any kind of embedded water spots. So we do have products like our heavy duty water spot remover gel. You can also polish them away with something like our V36, which is a light cutting polish. And this is gonna be a great combination of products to go with to just polish out the glass and just restore that full clarity and shine. Ooh. So whenever it comes to applying V36, since this windshield is pretty large, I'm gonna apply about five drops. We will do the rest of the windshield off camera because I wanna show you guys, whoa, because I wanna show you guys what a treated, clean, decontaminated and polished glass looks like versus something that hasn't been touched in over 25 years. I know we had someone call us out on how long it's been since this Honda Acti was manufactured. We're not gonna to care too much about that in this video. We're just gonna go ahead and just detail it and just get it looking right. So right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna blot out the product onto the windshield. Just to kind of spread it out. And then we're gonna turn it on to speed setting one and then just very quickly uh, work it, not work it on the surface, sorry. We're just gonna spread it around on the surface that way we don't have a heavy concentration of product here and not enough here. So let me just do that real quick and I'll be right back.
All right, so as you guys can see, we just spread it out the surface now. One thing I do want to emphasize here is that we're not working in the product yet. We're just working it on the surface. So what, my, what I mean by that is we just want to make sure that the product is nicely spread out. That way, like I said, you don't have a heavy concentration of product here and not enough over here because we want even results. So right now what we're going to do is we're going to turn on the machine to the highest speed setting and we're going to go ahead and just work in this polish very thoroughly until it becomes translucent. We'll wipe it off, inspect the results, and then we'll move on to the next step. Now that we're done polishing the glass, now we're going to grab a fresh microfiber towel and we're going to buff off the residue of the V36. Now right away I can definitely tell that the glass has much more clarity, it looks much cleaner, much more crisp, and this is definitely going to reflect whenever you're on the inside of the vehicle. That way you don't have any kind of films or anything that are taken away from your overall visibility from the glass. So that way you can drive with confidence and in inclement weather conditions. So as you guys can see, V36. Once you fully uh, break it down with your machine polisher, it wipes out very quickly, very easily. And um, I know a lot of people, they may have some questions regarding polishes or anything like that. Whenever it comes to using polishes, you wanna make sure that the product breaks down thoroughly before wiping it off. Because what can end up happening is, if you try to wipe it off before it fully breaks down, it's gonna smear around. So that's one pro tip that I have for you guys in this little segment. If you're ever trying to wipe off compound or polish and you find it very hard to remove, it's probably because it's not fully broken down yet. So just go back in there with your polisher, keep working it in, and you're good to go. So as you guys can see, I already said this already, but it looks great. The clarity is there, the shine is there, um, much more visibility now. And now, this is the, basically the state of the glass that we want to preserve it in. So it's very crisp, very clean. Now we want to protect that. So luckily, we have products for that. One of which being is our Hydro Slick, which is a ceramic coating hyperwax. And we also have our HydroView, which is a ceramic coating and quick detailer for your glass. So you can use this to ceramic coat your glass and to maintain it in between cleanings. And it's also a cleaner as well. So you can use that basically as your maintenance cleaner to boost the shine, the clarity, and just to keep your glass nice and well protected. But since we're doing all this full shebang right now, why not just layer our protection? So that's why I have my bottle of Hydro Slick. If you guys don't know, Hydro Slick is a ceramic coating hyperwax. So this takes wax to the next level with the power of ceramic SIL2 nanotechnology. So this product, we manufactured it to be as easy to apply as a traditional carnauba wax, but with the intense shine and ceramic protection of a ceramic. So I'll show you guys just how easy it is to use. Same thing, microfiber applicator. Oh. And then you wanna apply just a couple drops. In this case, I'm only gonna use three drops simply because Hydro Slick, it goes a very, very long way. You don't need to go crazy with the application. You don't need to apply a heavy coat. Less is more when it comes to ceramic. And what I mean by that is the less you apply, as long as you have a nice even layer and it's on there, you're going to have a much easier time buffing it off with the microfiber towel as opposed to just going crazy and applying a heavy coat. Remember, anything that's sitting on the top is just excess. So the first basically wipe that you give the surface, that's already coated and you just want to make sure that you do it evenly. So oh, I almost dropped a little drop right there. But all you want to do now is just simply work the ceramic coating up and down, left and right in a crosshatch motion, that way you achieve an even finish. So you just wanna make sure that this bonds very well, and you can do that by just making sure that you have an even application. This is gonna make your life easier when it comes to wiping it off, and ensure that the entire windshield has the same level of protection. And what I mean by that is, you know, you're not gonna have like a patch here where it's like super protected, and a patch over here where maybe you may have not gone over as well, and you have a little spot where it's not as well protected. So just go left and right, up and down. You may see me just going up and down right here. That's completely fine. It's just because it's a little bit more comfortable for me to apply it this way, as opposed to left and right, which I'll show you guys right now just while we're at it. And then as you guys can see, the product 
it flashes very quickly. The beauty about Hydro Slick is that it'll flash anywhere within 30 seconds up to two minutes depending on the climate. Right here, we're indoors, it's kind of morning time-ish. It's about to be 10.30. So here in LA, it's about, I have this fancy watch right here. I don't even know what, what temperature it is right now, but we're looking at about a cool 70 degrees, I wanna say. So I would let this sit from anywhere from about a minute to a minute and a half before wiping it off. So we're just gonna go ahead and just give it a couple more seconds and then we'll be right back with you guys to wipe it off. All right guys, we're back now. Now we're gonna wipe off the coat of Hydro Slick that we applied to the windshield. And as you guys can see, Hydro Slick removes very easily. Now I know a lot of you guys have questions about this product and this just kind of goes back to applying a nice light even coat. The less that you apply with this product, the less hassle it will be for you to remove it. Since it is a ceramic, you have to keep in mind that with ceramics, they harden. So what they're doing right now is basically you apply the layer, you buff off the residue, any remaining product that you know basically gets into the pores of the surface that you're applying it to stays there and it hardens. So it amplifies the natural characteristics of your paintwork, your glass, your chrome, your headlights, your wheels, whatever it is that you apply it to for intense, durable shine and protection. And just like that, we're all done. Now we can go ahead and finalize it with our Hydro View. But before we do that, I wanna give Hydro Slick about 30 minutes for it to just kind of flat, I'm sorry, cure. That way, whenever we apply our coat of Hydro View, it kind of layers on there and they can both harden at the same time. And that's just so, and that's just for you guys who, and that's just for you guys out there who wanna layer your ceramics. Whenever it comes to layering ceramics, if you're doing our full Hydro line, especially on smooth, glossy surfaces, I would do, start off with Hydro Charge Plus, Hydro Slick, and then you can either apply Hydro Speed if it's on your paintwork or any other part of your vehicle. And if you're working on glass, Hydro View, which we'll do in just about 30 minutes. So we're gonna let that just cure for a little while. We're gonna go ahead and just relax, let that do its thing, and then we'll be right back with you guys to apply the final product, which is Hydro View Ceramic Glass Coating. So now that we're done applying Hydro Slick to the surface and it's been about half an hour, now we can go ahead and coat it with our Hydro View Ceramic Glass Coating Spray. Now, this product, you can spray directly onto the surface, wipe off the residue, and then buff it to a bright high shine. But in this case, since I wanna keep the, you know, the test consistent, I don't wanna spray directly because I don't wanna get any overspray onto the side that's not treated. So what we're gonna do instead is we're just gonna go ahead and pull away. I'm gonna spray my towel about uh, four to five times. And then we're gonna just simply wipe down the glass. And since we have that tape line right there, it's not gonna be an issue. That way it doesn't overlap and that way we have a consistent result. And you know, basically just a cool 50-50 to show you guys what the differences are and what treated glass versus untreated glass looks like. So after you wipe it on, simply buff off the residue. And this product is extremely easy to use. It's, pro it's uh, honestly my favorite glass cleaner now simply because it's a glass cleaner and it's a ceramic coating in one. So uh, you guys may have seen, we started off the video with our streak-free glass cleaner. The reason I use our streak-free glass cleaner as opposed to HydroView was because this does not contain ceramic. This is just a general, easy to use, effective glass cleaner that doesn't provide any protection, but it cleans, it, it cleans glass very easily. So that's why we use Streak Free to start off this process. And now, since we're basically at the end, we've already applied Hydro Slick. Now we just coated it with our Hydro View Ceramic Glass Coating and we're all good to go. Now, when it comes to the next time that you wanna clean your glass, I would highly recommend sticking with HydroView to clean your glass in between washes. That way you boost the shine, you boost the protection with ceramic SiO2 infused glass cleaner. So that's why I use that one first and then this one at the end. Um, I did get a little bit of residue right here, just real quick, I wanted to wipe that off. But other than that, we are all done. Just like that, you're all done. You've cleaned your glass, you've clayed your glass, you decontaminated it, you polished it, you restored the full clarity and shine, and you provided a durable, long-lasting coat of ceramic protection with Hydro Slick Ceramic Coating Hyper Wax. And last but not least, we also layered it with their Hydro View, which is a ceramic glass coating and glass cleaner in one single product. And just like that, that's gonna go ahead and wrap up our full glass guide. So you guys have learned everything and anything that you need to know about cleaning your glass, maintaining it, protecting it, and everything so on forth. So now we're gonna go ahead and conclude this video with 
an incredible before and action. So right now, we're gonna pull out Project Acti outside. I'm gonna show you guys some pretty awesome before and after of what water looks like when it's treated with our Hydro Slick, clay bar, polish, all that full shebang versus glass that has not been touched in over 25 years. So we're gonna go ahead and pull the car out right now and show you guys those results. In the meantime, if you guys wanna pick up any of the products that you guys seen on today's video, you can pick them up directly on our website, chemicalguys.com. And if you guys don't already know, we have detail garage store locations all throughout the US, UK, and Canada. So there'll be a store locator in the description down below. So if you wanna find your nearest store, go ahead and check that out. And as always, if you haven't done so, make sure to like, subscribe. My name is Joey, this is Chemical Guys Detail Garage. We'll see you guys on the next one.